Huh? We're such amateurs. Why? Because the heater works without the generator. We had the generator on all night long. And, and the neighbors left us a note. Please observe the quiet hours. They are from blah, blah, blah. Your generator is loud and kept us awake all night. I mean, we slept with it on. <laughs> so so are you sure? the morning too. It's very bad for them. Here. And they wrote in little parentheses. That's cute. They were nice. Thanks, all your neighbors. Did they have a meeting this morning? <laughs> True. <laughs> I mean, True. I feel bad. We don't know what we're yeah, doing. These are the oh, they're in an RV. That makes sense. Okay. Um, okay, that makes a lot of sense now. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, why do they have a generator? And why that, is it pissing everyone off? I, and it looks like they're somewhere, like, on some cold trip. Yeah, because she's wearing some, some, some gear there, too. So. Yeah. What else are they supposed to do? Perhaps maybe it wasn't their generator that was on. Perhaps it was a symphony of generators that were on in the air, and you just happened to pick them out because they're young, and that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When the neighbor's mad, because you got a doorbell camera. You need to get your ring bell. Then you'll know who I am, like the neighbor across the hall got a ring bell in the apartment. <laughs> This is so weird. What? I, yeah, I, I, yeah I, I'm not sure what to say about that one. You just upset because they have a doorbell camera? Who gets the rain bell in the apartment? <laughs> what? Yeah. I was thinking about getting a ring doorbell for my apartment because people have been stealing packages in our building. Heinous. Right? Heinous. How crazy. I want to catch the thief. You <laughs> Every time me and Taylor hear a sound, we always go to the door to check because the person across from us orders packages like all the, all time. the time. Like ah, every day there's okay. packages there. Okay. So we're like, we might catch the thief in action. Okay. Uh oh. I mean, I mean, what is your take on that, Olivia? The car guys are gonna come for me, yeah. but I don't mm. get loud car. Like, it's just so Same. annoying. I'm gonna have to agree with this. I am uh, a knuckle dragging, boneheaded Neanderthal, but uh, at the same time, and we're from, we're from like a hillbilly area where that's pretty common. Yeah, oh and, yeah. And you just got it, you're like, but why? But why? why? But why? 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 I had a beef with you and your fat lip, mate. You didn't have the balls to do the damage yourself, and now you're you're putting the blame on another person. The blame belongs with you. It's quite clear from your attitude what's going on. The fact that you continue to make these noises, you don't want to stop. You're a chop. A what? I'm like, it looks like they're working construct. Yeah, that's a they're they're building. What are you doing? What? I don't even know what he's angry about. He's mad because they're making noise in the construction site. Oh. That's what oh he's done. Oh my god, he should move to Toronto for yeah, yeah. one day. Have you ever, like, hello, construction? Yeah. And if you are, I'm going to deal with And all the people who work here, the one like you, want to harass me in my life. No. No. All right? No. First of all, no. That's. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the standards like it's like it's either 10:30 or 11, no matter where you are. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's Go, annoying, but. But yeah. And again, great. like you said, it's. I mean, you said it. Try living in Toronto. Try living in any city ever where there's noise. So bad. <laughs> My neighbor informed me last night when I got home that he built us a pool. What? But not to worry. He built me access to my door through a bridge. <laughs> and this, people, is why you don't do drugs. Oh my god. This person posted this video. Did you guys see the pool? We're, we're bringing that back. My neighbor said they built me a pool. I'm crying. But not to worry. He built me access to my door through a bridge. <laughs> I don't even want to know what the bleeped out part is saying, but like, the pool, you guys, in question. <laughs> funny <laughs> yo this one has me weak i feel like i'm gonna go try and find this tiktok when i get home and go show my family that's hilarious they fighting each other with the hose 
<laughs> LOL. <laughs> Not the hose to the face. First of all, hoses are real. They're real. Uh, like the pressure that comes out of a hose is aggressive. <laughs> she grabbed the camera at the end like, excuse me. <laughs> no, but as I was saying, the pressure from the hose is like for real. Like it's serious. So I don't know. That's that's kind of wild to me. He's spraying people in their faces with hose. And it's not even just one of them doing it. It's both of them doing it at the same time. That is too funny. We put grease on the bottoms of our trash can handles so when our neighbors move them, it gets all over their hands. <laughs> That's funny. That's super petty, but like funny. Cause like, why are you touching someone else's trash can? Why are you even moving it? Just deal with- Oh my. Crying. At least they know who did it. They're like, you know what? This way we can tell for sure. I think that's hilarious. Oh my god. The grease. That's actually a genius idea though. If you want someone to stop touching your stuff, just grease it up. Next time they touch it, they'll learn their lesson and not do it again. Those who don't hear must feel. <laughs> I'm explaining to a friend of mine why we have this ugly orange fence up. And right on cue, crazy neighbor comes outside. Zoom in a little bit. There, there you go. Not hey, crazy go. Karen. How are you today? I had to put this fence up because she, no joke you guys, chased my dog and I with a pitchfork the other day. When the city comes out and does a land survey and lets her know that that whole green area is ours, she planted on our property. She will have 24 hours to remove those plants. Chop chop! <laughs> well, <laughs> there's so much going on in this video. She chased her and her dog with a pitchfork. She's planting plants in their yard. And this girl's like, you got 24 hours to chop chop these plants away. Like, what is going on here? Yo, this lady is driving me f***ing insane. So, like, can you guys hear this? What is that? What the f*** is she doing? Let <laughs> me sleep. She's probably banging a broomstick above the Listen, the ceiling. I banged on the floor. I jumped on the floor. I got my bat and I banged the floor as hard as trying to break she just did it harder. Floor. Like she did it back. She like, all right, I can do that. <laughs> so, you know, I'm calling the cops. <laughs> all right, so the cops came back to my door and they were like, oh yeah, like we knocked on her door, banged pizza. on her door, rang the doorbell. Nobody answered. She stopped banging on the. Like, I can't hear anything else, so I mean, that's good. Dead. The man said, I caught the cops, so there's that. <laughs> he was like, all right, if you want to play that game, let's let's go. <laughs> that's super jokes, I'm sorry. Like, can you imagine your neighbors just being like literal, like a literal asswipe? Like, they're like, they're like, they really, really want you to know they don't like you, and they're doing some shit. Like, at 2 a.m., when I'm trying to sleep, what are you doing? She's probably banging a broom up the, the, the ceiling because I've seen people do that like in apartments that I've stayed at. And I just don't understand the reason. Like what could he have been doing at 2 a.m. that you were that pressed? You rolled out of your bed, grabbed the broomstick and started slamming it up against the ceiling for however long you were doing it. The fact that you even did it in the first place is super petty, but okay. <laughs> call, call the cops! Call. Call. Because you're gonna go to jail, that's why you've got a restraining order. You're not even supposed to be here. <laughs> I was sitting over there reading a book and you had no right to even speak to me. Oh. I am on this side of the fence. Whoa. Stay on your side. I don't have no reason. Yo, can you please stop calling my mom that? Wow. <laughs> wow, I'm not even, guys, I didn't even know which one is the carrot here. I don't know the full scope of the operation that's happening right now. Like, maybe they literally have a restraining order against each other. Like, that is insane. If you have a restraining order against your neighbor, like, what? Like, do they have to move now? That's, that is toxicity right there, guys, at its best. Well, I be d she getting a shower on the Porch. Oh my. She just gonna give her a shower wow. on the porch. You might as well go get you some soap and towel That's and just insanity. go off right now. That don't make no just go me. off. Just get you some soap and water holy and go moly. off. Holy She's literally just spraying her. She need her just I just to be shame. She's full of shit. She need her ass. Well, she wants some attention. Some damn attention. Little skinhead. She need to put that water on top of her. Oh my. <laughs> and now she's coming at them. Right here, wow, just is. leaves it on. This is ridiculous. They had to cut that out. 
That is ridiculous, actually. That is fully ridiculous. Literally spraying another individual on their property. If that's what's going on right now, which I assume it is. Is that not assault? Like, somebody answer me in the comments, please, because I don't know, like, is spraying someone wa like with water like on their property, like, it, would this be classified as, like, assault or, like, something like that? Like, I feel like this has to be illegal somehow, but I don't know what it would fall under. Like, it feels too, it feels too dumb to be assault, honestly, like, like that, but I'm not sure what it is. So let me know in the comments. I can't sleep with the washer going. I tolerate your bullshit. Should not move in. Should you move in here? Wow. Help me, the child. Everybody in this building sees it. Look, why are you yelling? I'm talking to you. No laundry after not. Oh my gosh. She is angry. That is true. That is true, buddy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, that's why I never want to live in a building, guys, where you have to share the washing machine. I've seen, like, my, my girlfriend actually is in a situation where she does that right now, and it's just the worst. Like, she's obviously never had any interactions like this, but, like, you gotta, like, coordinate times and stuff, and then, yeah, it's like, you don't want to, like, leave it in there too long. You also need to make sure you're not doing it at, like, midnight. It's like, no, 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 no. I need to have my own washing machine because, like, I'm not trying to do this thing at, like, you know, in the afternoon. Like, I'm at work, lady. Like, I gotta do this on my own time and some of the times it means after nine you're on my property no, I'm not, dude. I'm on yes my you property. are I'm on my line, when dude. you what? jump you what? jumped what? over my property. property now I see you throwing <laughs> throwing shit <laughs> <laughs> keep acting like that keep acting keep acting <laughs> keep Yo. acting you stay there. Okay, I got all day, day too. Okay, good. LOL. I got all day. Okay. Neighbor said we got time today. That's hilarious. This guy said, yeah, you want to play that game? I have all day too. We can stand here all day and do this. I love videos like this because it's like the person filming is usually matching like the per the other person's energy and it's just hilarious. All right. This is Gus. He's yeah. very friendly. He's not going to jump out the window. He's not going to attack you, okay? No, he was, he attacked our dog and he was jumping on the outside window. Yeah, well, I saw the vet bill and it looks like it just, he just got him, bit him, maybe twice. It doesn't look like he damaged him or it doesn't look like your dog can't walk anymore. Like wow. he was losing his bladder in his bowels every time he walked towards your house. So it's my fault that your dog's a pussy? Wow. Our dog is a guard dog. That's what our dog is for. What would you like us to do, ma'am? The dog was inside our house. Let me ask you that. Was the dog inside of our house? Yes. Then why do you continue to bother us? Whoa, that's crazy. Hold on, wait. I feel like if your guard, your dog is a guard dog, you should just be really attentive and also like apprehensive about who you let it around and who like other animals like if you know that they don't have a good history with other animals you probably should just not bring them around other people's animals the only thing that caught me off guard was they were in their house so like what did they bring the dog over and the dog got attacked like i'm that's where i'm a little lost in translation but either way wild story through and through <laughs> Is what? What is that? Please don't tell me that's what I think it is because I will vomit in real life. Was that dog dookie? Was that dookie? Not even dog dookie. Was that dookie? Is that what that was that she just threw? Ain't no way this is real life on somebody's property. Oh my god. People blow me. I cannot. I think my neighbor is trying to steal my cat again. Again? Snapchats. Apparently my cat is missing. Uh, she's not. Moose is at home right now. But people keep sending me photos of a missing poster of my cat. So I'm looking for one now because my cat isn't missing. That is my cat. <laughs> it's not missing. <laughs> I bet this is my fucking neighbor. She's been saying that she's called it Smudge. Her name is Moose, not Smudge. I, she's been trying to claim this cat for fucking months and now she's reported oh, wow. it missing. I'm fuming. Why is she trying to claim my cat? <laughs> she's like, I bet it's my neighbor. <laughs> 
Like she just knew. That is hilarious. She just knew this girl was trying to take her cat. Like who has an obsession with someone else's cat? That's weird behavior. I'm sorry. That is oddball behavior. Garage down here? No, I'm not. Okay. Do you have e bikes in there? No. That's a lie, bro. Give us the e bike tag. Go last time. Sign. Take it. Give it to us. Right now! Get the e-bike! Right now! I don't want to hear your bullshit! I'm gonna go fucking in there and take it! Okay, get the bike and let's go! Give me the bike! Right now! I'll kill you, dude! Give me the freaking off! Give it! Give it! Go off! The clicker! The garage door! The clicker! You come anyone here! That house again! You're a freaking dad! The cops are coming right now for you! No! They call the cops! You're going back to jail, probation, bro! Hold on, okay. What the f***? Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out what the hell I just watched. Like, to be honest, I'm a little bit confused. They're like shouting. Like, the first and second guy are real aggressive. They're like, give us a new bike. Give us a now. We're gonna kill you. Like, whoa, sir, it is a bike. It never has to go to that length. What are you doing? You're willing to catch a case over a bike? People are crazy. I was I was gonna say that sounds a little not nice to say, but yo, people are people are kind of crazy. <laughs> you're slithering. Oh, I'm just learning your Visayan language. What? Your Visayan Stop. language is all over your what? wife. Because we're standing against you, my grandma's right behind you. You tried her. You tried her grandma. What is happening right now? Stop it. What the hell are you doing? You're possessed by somebody. Who are you? What is happening? What? What the heck, guys? Drugs are bad. <laughs> that's like a full on South Park thing right there, man. Like, that is, like, that's just ridiculous. I don't even know what the hell it is that you were referring to right there, lady. Like, that is just, that, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about that, guys, because, like, I can't really comment on the last of the bloodline from, like, fucking wherever it is that she's from. I just don't know. I don't care. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah uh, that's what we needed. I, I've asked you nicely. I'm not going to ask again. This is my property. This has been my property before you moved in. No, when I moved in, you told me your property line was six <laughs> inches off of your flower bed <laughs> it's like there. The no, is out. That puts you, that puts you well, that puts you well into a foot into my property. A lawnmower swipe is what I have. Well, you told me six You're inches. That, that's all right. I'm going to hire a surveyor. And when he comes out, I'm recording you putting those up. Oh, and when he comes out goodness. and proves that that's my property, then I'm going to have you arrested. I, I've asked you nicely. I, I try to keep to myself. Like, she needs that little strip? That's what she's getting upset about? Like, that's, like, this is so much. This is way too much, guys. Like, what are you gonna do with that strip, lady? You're just gonna walk back and forth? Like, there's nowhere to go. I'd be like, oh, yeah, like, you can have it. Like, I don't wanna mow this grass. Like, it's yours, man. Like, I'd be like, I don't need to have this property. Like, it's oh yours, buddy. You take care of that. People are nuts. Moral of the story. Not go my door like a woman. We'll wait for the cops together. <laughs> how did she knock on her door? <laughs> like I, I don't even know. Bring your lease. Then don't have nobody knocking on my god door. When my, I don't give a sh you got music. Let me tell you something. Mind your business. <laughs> Mind your business. Mind your business. Well, what, are you, business. what are you doing right now? What are you doing right, you right now? I'm talking about you. I don't want to hear you. Don't have nobody knock on my god <laughs> and I just can't get over like, <laughs> like, like that's what it looks like to me. It just looks like a bunch of like rabid dogs just like blah, 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 like going at each other. Like you, you like this is people like this should actually be titled like Karen's getting animalistic. <laughs> because that's what it feels like to me, man. Like people are just literally losing it. Like we're like devolving right now. We're going back to our freaking Neanderthalic days, if that's even a freaking word. Like, what is this? Why do we care? And how how do you knock on a door like a woman? Please comment down below. I would like to know. Mm. Uh, I 
think you have to explain this to me. So, uh, <laughs> I used to work at a store where you could buy stuff like that. To build a retaining wall in a neighborhood like that, it looks like it's a pretty suburban area. To build a retaining wall like that, you'd have to be in an area that gets lots of floods. So, I'm going to hit you with a boom, Louisiana, hit you with one of those. Maybe something like that. I don't know. Uh, but... For them to build a retaining wall could, it basically it's going to protect uh, the most vulnerable places from your house from flooding, like a house with a basement. Basements are infamous uh, for flooding, so if they're getting a lot of rainfall and they know it's coming, if there's no water coming that way, it could deflect it all into the neighbor's yard. Now, is that intentional? I don't think so. It might be just an unintentional consequence of building a watertight wall. Oh. So I don't think it's intentional. It still was a move if you ask me. Y'all want me to read that right now? <laughs> Parking garage and apartment? Okay. Yeah, you got, you're gonna can have you, to pause the video where I can read it. Can you pause it, Chris? Don't read so good. Oh yeah, okay. So this says. It says. Dear blank. Blank. You are the reason condo association fees are going up. It's capitalized and underlined. Mm -hmm. Don't dump your furniture here, you idiot. You fool. I don't really get like the association between like costs going up. Like if there's a rule where you can't store furniture in your parking spot, I feel like I understand that yep, very absolutely. much. But I don't understand <laughs> why fees would go up because of that. As if like, they, they walk by like, ah, oh, someone left their couch there again. That's it, $500 more a month. That's it, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Um, but maybe somebody can explain this to us because uh, I mean I simply do not own a condo. I just Same. pay the landlords All right, you can go ahead and keep calling the police department on us if you want just like last night We're gonna keep playing basketball last night at the okay. same time every night if you want, okay? You've been harassing my family for way too goddamn long, and I'm getting real sick and tired of it, all right? Imagine. Also, last night, he was like, you called the cops on us last night, too? As if a police saw, they're gonna love, they're just gonna love picking that up again 12 hours. Like, yeah, you gotta go back, same lady, you gotta go back. Man, boy who cried wolf. Oh. Once you call the police a certain amount of times over nothing, you're not allowed anymore. <laughs> we lived in this neighborhood for years, years and years. Everyone knows how you are, unfortunately. We all know how you are. And honestly, I'm just getting real sick and tired of it. Because my family does not deserve this. Uh, okay. That was clear and to the point. That, yeah. <laughs> okay. He was real about that. He was. We know who you are. Everyone knows who you are. I think we know who she is. Well, I mean, she's calling the police on them for playing basketball. So we know we know what kind of person she is. Just, yeah, I, Imagine a fun outdoor activity. How dare you? How dare you get exercise? Not on my watch. Not the. Oh, oh my. Oh boy. Dude, you're Lord. gonna break your your ceiling right now, man. I don't like that. They do this all day. Just walk around, stomping their big ass feet. I'm getting tired. What? <laughs> Bro, you are literally gonna put a hole in that. So irritated. <laughs> yeah, you don't like that, do you? <laughs> I wanted to see like what it was that they was doing, cause apparently they've been stomping their big feet all day long, and my guy has had enough of it. But that's the way that you like you're literally you're gonna cave in your apartment by doing that, dude. Like just like smacking on that. I can't believe that this clip didn't end with that thing going directly through the ceiling, like into their floorboards or something like that. That's why I thought this was going, honestly. That's a little bit Karen S right there. That's a bit toxicity for my dude on the camera. So I wanna know what they were doing though. Uh-huh. What? <laughs> Okay, well, that's just like not good. Okay, first off, why are you doing this to begin with? Like, I don't think that's a toxic neighbor. That's just the relationship that you have with what sounded to be like your sibling, honestly. So maybe like don't smack on it and then he won't do it back. Just throw it out there right now for your fish's safety, lady. Your fish needs you. Do it again. Do it again. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There it goes. I can't believe it. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
That seems like the wrong tool for that job. Wow. You are going to jail, dude. You are going to jail. That, uh, that, yep, yep, the police are gonna get here. They're gonna show them that footage of him absolutely losing his mind with a sledgehammer. And they're gonna go, dude, why were you losing your mind with a sledgehammer? And he's gonna go, blah, 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 because he's gonna have nothing to say, because you shouldn't be doing that, man. Like, that's almost like that. Like, I'd be threatened right there. I'd be like, oh my god, this dude's gonna kill me with a sledgehammer right now. No, thank you. You gotta go. Oh boy, they are getting in each other's face right now, guys. Oh boy. Oh my God! Holy mother of God! I've never seen a lady who needs a glass of wine more in my life. She needs to go on vacay, man. Like, send this lady away to, like, freaking Punta Cana. Give her all the pina colada she needs. Trust me, it will be in everyone's best interest when she comes back. That is ridiculous. It's your new neighbor. If you have a party that big again, I'm calling the cops. It's too loud to not be a part of that. You invite me next time. Oh, okay. Well, that's not right, thought. It was going. I actually kind of like yeah, this guy. That was nice. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I like that one. Nice, kind of wholesome. I'd bring up a bottle of alcohol and an invitation to the next one as an apology. Cause... I'm coming over. I'm coming. At you. I'm gonna call a cop. If you don't let me in, dude, I want a party. I love partying. That's great. <laughs> I love partying. I think it's disgusting. Oh, I've seen this one. She's disgusting. Time on a Sunday. Have you got nothing better to do? We are permitted to start work from 8 a.m. on a weekend. We've got to crack on, or we're going to get in the neck from the bus. There's also Skyrim. Fair enough, we started a bit early. Hear that, but, but, you know, I don't Skyrim see what the problem is. My son is a lawyer, and this is oh, really the noise pollution laws. This yeah. guy seems really reasonable. Yeah, she, she takes away their ladder at some point, too. They have a ladder to get. She takes away the ladder. Yeah, yeah. She takes away the ladder. She, That's it. I'm taking this until you stop the noise. And she takes the ladder. Oh, because it's a Sunday. Because it's a Sunday. No noise on Sunday. No post, no noise on Sunday. And I have you know, there's a family across the road with a new ball. And all this racket is bound to make give them a load of stress. Christopher, what Skyrim is causing them stress? They can tell me. We're causing you stress. I don't mind starting a bit later. We can ask the client if he's happy with it. That's fine. Well, they're going to get it in the neck from the boss. Exactly. <laughs> I love yes. that. I love like uh, little British sayings. The little the expression. I'm chuffed in my boots. I love that. Crack yes. On. I'm but, like, uh, you do crack on. have to crack oh, on. I agree. Yeah, we're permitted to be here from 8 a.m. <laughs> Guys, that's it. Wow, that was crazy. It's most of us just talking about uh, Home Depot. <laughs> no, no, a hardware store that has orange on it. Not Shmom Shmeepo. Shmom Shmeepo. That's what we have to call it from now on. Shmom Shmeepo. And to replace everything we said with Shmom Shmeepo. And that way we can't get in trouble.